John Moxley, aka Dean Ambrose's status for WrestleMania this weekend has been revealed. Dean Ambrose walked out on WWE a few years back and then went over to AEW and now goes by the name John Moxley. He's had a lot of success in AEW, but still there's a lot of WWE fans who really want to see John back in WWE and they hope that if he ever does come back, he comes back as the Dean Ambrose lunatic fringe character. Many fans believed that he would never come back to WWE, that he had too much anger, that he had too many bad feelings about WWE, and that it would just never happen, and that he would be in AEW for the rest of his career. But earlier today, a new report came out that suggests that John Moxley is going to show up at WrestleMania this weekend, as some of these reports state that he's actually been spotted in Dallas. And why would he be in Dallas except to show up at WrestleMania? So because he's been spotted in Dallas, there's rumors that he has signed a new WWE contract, and many fans are now believing that he will show up at WrestleMania. And these reports state that if he does indeed show up at the WrestleMania 38 pay-per-view, it will be on the second night, Sunday night, and it will be after the Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar match. And what will happen is Roman Reigns will be in the ring and then Dean Ambrose's theme song will play and John Moxley will come out as Dean Ambrose and he'll make his way to the ring and then he will go up to Roman Reigns. He'll put out his hand and then Roman Reigns will go to shake Dean Ambrose's hand and then Dean Ambrose will slap. Roman Reigns and then beat him down. And then Dean Ambrose will reveal that he has signed a new WWE contract and that he is going to get revenge on Roman Reigns because he will state that the main reason why he left WWE was because Roman Reigns was hogging the spotlight and he was sick and tired of it. So he came back to get his revenge and he's going to destroy Roman Reigns, and he, he's gonna say that this time, I'm not the one who's gonna leave the company, it's gonna be Roman Reigns, because I'm gonna make him leave the company after I destroy him. So this will obviously be a gigantic WrestleMania moment, one of the, one of the biggest of all times, as Roman Reigns will go face to face with Dean Ambrose as Dean Ambrose makes his triumphant return to WWE. A former WWE Universal Champion will make his return at WrestleMania 38. There's been a lot of speculation about who just might show up at WrestleMania this year, and one of the names who is rumored to make his long-awaited return to WWE is the Monster Among Men Braun Strowman. Now, Braun Strowman was surprisingly released in June of 2021. Of course, Braun had become a major star in the company, and it was one of the most shocking releases in a long time. And unfortunately, after being released, there's been a lot of bad feelings from Braun Strowman about being basically fired from WWE without warning. Braun, of course, was the Universal Champion, and he had a very good run as champion, and he remained in the main event picture. In fact, he had just wrestled in the main event at a pay-per-view before being released. But because there has been increasing pressure on WWE to have more stars and they've been unfortunately unable to make stars out of a lot of the NXT call-ups. So now they are forced to bring back some of the former stars of WWE, even stars who they fired. And one of these fired stars that they're bringing back is Braun Strowman. Now the plan is to keep 
Braun's return at WrestleMania a complete secret. They don't want anyone to know about it so that when he does show up, it will completely stun not only the people inside the stadium, but the millions of people watching around the world. Because a lot of fans are really hoping that one day Braun Strowman will come back to WWE. And it looks like it's going to happen this weekend at WrestleMania. And we'll discuss the exact plan for Braun's return at WrestleMania in just a moment. But first, let's discuss about what Braun has been doing since being released by WWE. Well, as of late, he has started a brand new wrestling company with his good friend EC3. And probably one of the reasons why Braun decided to re-sign with WWE rather than going down the road of this new wrestling company, Control Your Narrative, is because he probably learned about how difficult it was going to be to start this company, how much money it was going to take, millions and millions of dollars, because don't forget Tony Khan, who created AEW, he was already a millionaire, so he could pump as much money as he needed to into the company, whereas Braun Strowman and EC3, yeah, they're rich, but they're not multi multi millionaires like Tony Khan. So Braun Strowman probably decided, you know what? It's going to be a lot easier just to get a paycheck from a company, show up a couple times a week and then go home and count my millions rather than having to pour all my money, all my savings into this company, control your narrative, which may never get off the ground. So here's the plan for Braun Strowman making his return at WrestleMania. After Lashley takes on Omos, Braun Strowman will come down to the ring and confront Omos as Braun Strowman will challenge him to a match to decide who is truly the monster among men in WWE. And I think a lot of fans are going to be excited to see a match between Omos and Braun Strowman because these are truly two giants of wrestling. What are your thoughts about Braun Strowman returning at WrestleMania and Dean Ambrose making his return at WrestleMania and confronting Roman Reigns? Leave a comment below and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you are notified when we upload a new video.